Hello everyone. I'm very glad to see all of you. I'm Xiao Wei Zhan from Peking University. Today I'm gonna to talk about design of freeze ring electron acceptors for organic solar cell. As we know, fluorine and derivatives are mostly widely used electron acceptors in OPV. Since they have some advantages, for example, high electromobility, isotropic charge transport property, and can form value scale phase separation when blending with donor materials. However, they also have some shortcomings. For example, they have very weak absorption in visible region. It's not easy to tune energy level by chemical reactions. And it's not easy to synthesize and purify it. So their cost may be high. Moreover, they are easily diffuse and aggregate in blend films, leading to instability of morphology. From this image of polysiphon PCVT blending with PCBM, the morphology is instable. After somalinin at 150 degrees, at the beginning, the film looks uniform and smooth. But after one week aligning, the film has many aggregates. This aggregate due to aggregation of PCBM. Since the morphology is instable, the device looks unstable. After this continues, in the cloud box, the efficiency drop off a lot, about uh, uh, half and more. So people try to use non-fluorine acceptors to replace PCBM, such as parent diamide, which is widely used dye in organic electronics. It has some advantages. For example, broad absorption and strong absorption. And the energy level suitable to uh, PCBM. It has very high electromobility, it's over 0.1. When blending p 3 t with PDI small molecule acceptor, the efficiency is very low, only 0.1%. So what's happening? When we took a, took a look at the molecules, these molecules have a very planar structure and has a very strong crystallinity, easy to self-aggregate, and has poor donor acceptor visibility. So the JSC and efficiency of the device is very low. Ten years ago, we designed and synthesized a parent diamond polymer acceptor. We copolymerized PDI with disiolocyphon unit. From the calculation, we can see dihedral angle between PDI and the disiolocyphon unit is around 50 degrees. That means the polymer main chain is highly twisted. So, can limit the intermolecular interaction and server aggregation and promote donor acceptor visibility. Moreover, charge transfer between acceptor unit PDI and the donor unit siphon can extend the absorption from 300 to 800 nanometer. Also, the absorption coefficient is pretty large. 
Moreover, the energy level, homo and normal, are similar to those of PCBM. We also measure electromobility using transistors. We got uh, electromobility is around 0 0.06. It's very similar to that of PCBM. Then we use our polymer acceptor blending with side chain polysiphon polymer donor. We got uh, efficiency over 1%. At that time, we published this result. This re result is very, very good. Then we use small molecule acceptor called PDI to the TDT as a second acceptor. Then we fabricate all polymer solid cell between low band gap polymer donor called PBDT TT and our polymer acceptor PDI DDT. We got the efficiency is around 3.4%. Then we use a method called diluting concentration solution to further increase the efficiency of all polymer solid cell based on parent diameter polymers to 4.6%. First, we use very high concentrate solution around 80 mg per milliliter, then dilute to regular concentration, around 20 mg per milliliter. Since at the highly concentrated concentration uh, solution, the polymer main chain entangled and aggregate, then we can reduce the free separation size and promote intermolecular interaction and charge transfer property. Finally, we got uh, high JC, high FF, and high efficiency. Some group, such as Antonio Fichetti, said we report the first parent diameter polymers in the world. And Professor Hashimoto said we report the first example on parent diameter polymer acceptor in polymer solid cell. Fakati group said that we report a better performance structure parent diameter polymers, and IM group said that we report the best efficiency for all polymer solid cell at, the, at that time. After our work, some group report random diameter polymer acceptors. For example, Fakati group report NDI polymers has a very high Electromobility. Recently, Professor Yi Group using this polymer acceptor to get very high efficiency in all polymer solid cell, around 8.2%. Also, Jelic Group report level in diameter polymer acceptor give efficiency around 7.7%. Hashimoto Group report parent diameter polymer acceptors give 0.2% efficiency. So a lot of story from my group is star-shaped PDI oligomer molecules. As we know, polymers have distributed molecular weight and not easy to purify and have batch-to-batch -batch variation. While oligomer molecules have definite molecular weight and defined molecular structure and easy to purify and batch to batch variation is very is, uh, is very very small. Our slushy molecules have good solution processability, can suppress self aggregation and promote donor acceptor visibility. We got the efficiency around 3.3%. However, these molecules has weak intermolecular interaction and lower electromobility, leading to lower fear factor and lower efficiency. 
Professor Yang He at HKUST using tetraphenylethylene as a core replace triphenylamine and make the molecules more pleasure and got higher efficiency, high electromobility, and higher fear factor. Another one example is from X Yang Group in University of Washington. They use tetraphenylsilin as a core and got a higher electromobility, higher fear factor, and a similar efficiency. Next, we move to our recent work on fusion electron acceptor. So this acceptor have extend rigid polar core. This core have intermolecular interaction pretty strong and promote charge transport. We also have different side chain, like RK, phenol, siphon. So this side chain can adjust solution, uh, solution processability, crystallinity, and film morphology. Moreover, we have different end group electron withdrawing unit. So this unit can tune energy level and absorption. So our free acceptor is free. That means we can freely tune absorption, tune energy level, tune film morphology, and all these molecules have very strong absorption and high mobility. So from absorption spectrum, we can see we can make the molecule absorbing 300 to 800 nanometer light. And the absorption maximum can easily tune from 600 to 800 something. Also, the energy level is easily tuned. So for example, the normal we can adjust from minus 3.3 to minus 3.9 electron mode. That means these molecules can match with different donor materials with different energy level. Next, we give some examples. So the first example is a wide band gap small molecule acceptor called IDT. 2BR. When blending with PCVT polymer donor, we can get efficiency is over 5%. Also, this efficiency is not sensitive to film cyclics. So our colleague said we report the highest value for PCVT based on non-fluorine polymer solar cell. Another example from IDT core we call uh, IEIC acceptor, when blending with PC10 polymer donor, we got uh, efficiency is around 6.3%. Then we condensed IDT with two siphon to get IDTT molecules, we called ITIC. When blending with PC10, we got uh, efficiency is around 6.8%. This efficiency actually is higher than that of C60 PCBM control device, but a little bit lower than C70 PCBM control device. So some group, for example, Professor Nicholas group and Professor Yang He group said we report the highest non-fluorine polymer solar cell. We also made, we called a polar fusion ring electron acceptor. We use RK side chain to replace the phenol side chain to make the molecules more polar, then promote the mobility to 3.3 uh, 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 to 10 to minus 3, and let us shift the absorption. When blending with this polymer, uh, this small molecule acceptor with polymer donor is called a PDBTT. So we got uh, as cast polymer solar cell efficiency is around 8.7%. Uh, 
So from here, we can see two molecules have matched energy level, complementary absorption spectrum, and high efficiency. So another example for side chain engineering is we use siphon side chain to replace filler side chain to tune energy level and increase mobility. Finally, when blending these two acceptors with the polymer donor PDBT T. So for phenyl group electron acceptor, we got an efficiency around 6.8, while for siphon side chains, we got 8.7%. Finally, we can increase the efficiency to 9.6% uh, efficiency. Very recently, we designed and synthesized a new FRE acceptor. So from here, we can see the acceptor and then the polymer donor have complementary absorption and the efficiency is over 11%. Actually, this is similar or even better than fluorine-based control device. Also, we compare fluorine and non-fluorine device stability. From here, we can see after one week continuous elimination for PCBM-based device, the PCE drop off 50%, while our non-fluorine case only drop off 10%. Since our non-fluorine film have stable morphology, then my group with Krebs group collaboration to make non-aerial fluorine-free OPV. So our OPV device has no ITO, has no fluorine acceptor, don't need vacuum deposition. So we got a pretty large scale and a pretty good efficiency. Recently, our FRE acceptor are available commercially. Solomon materials are selling ITIC. So in the world, around 50 group bought and use these molecules. For example, Professor Yongfan Ni group, Professor Jianghui Hou group, Professor Alan Higa group, and Professor Yun Cao group. Here is a Professor Ni group result. They use this polymer donor, blending with our ITIC, got efficiency 9.5%. Also, they found that this system has a small energy loss. This is results from Professor Jianghui Hou group. They use the polymer donor, it's called PBDBT, blending with our ITIC, got efficiency over 11% for small size device. And for one square centimeter size device, they got a certified efficiency around 10 to 8%. The Nature Jenner highlights this work. They called the polymer donor and small molecule acceptor ITIC got efficiency around 10 to 8 percent is a record for an organic device of this size. They also mentioned that because the cell doesn't use not relatively expensive fluorine, it could be cheaper to produce than the current best polymer solar cell. Here is a random map of non-fluorine OPV in my group. We start with 1% efficiency in 2007, then increase gradually to over 11% at this time. So our target is an efficiency around 
15% or even higher. We also published some UIT review, for example, chemical society review and uh, advanced material and uh, material horizon and account of chemical research. Now, I would like to summary our work. So, we synthesize polymer acceptor, small molecule acceptor. We publish around 40 downflow papers. So, our colleague said, our PDI polymer acceptor, this pioneering work promote the field development. Our colleague also said, our small molecule acceptor present a new direction in fluorine-free acceptors. I would like to thank all my great work, uh, collaborators and uh, co-works. For example, Professor Zhu Daoben, Professor Li Yongfan, Professor Hou Jianhui, Professor Sun Yanmin, Professor Lu Xinghui, Professor Ma Wei, and uh, Professor Sadamada, Professor Fred Krebs, and I to thank financial support from NSFC, most and the case. Finally, I would like to thank all of you for your attention. Bye.